I'll, I'll start. I mean, obviously you've gone through the, the first two exhibition games, but is it good to, to have one that counts? Like you go out there with a little extra juice knowing that this one goes in the one loss column? Yeah, especially once the senior season. I'm excited. It's my last first game. Uh, finally, I'm ready to get out, get out there in front of a good crowd and uh, excited to play for tomorrow. Yeah, I agree with Gabe. Um, my senior year, so just really looking forward to, to getting the year started and college basketball started just as a fan and as a player. What do you think you guys learned about your team through those first two exhibition games? i will say um, what we did in the offseason really carried over. We did a lot of defensive drills and really making that extra effort play. You know, um, sometimes we may not have executed well, but our effort defensively and how we played it really showed in the two exhibition games. Yeah, I think uh, defensively we did did fine between the uh, scrimmages and the exhibitions. Uh, offensively, I think we got out to some slow starts. Uh, hopefully that changes tomorrow. I think uh, a better start to really help us out. Gabe, you, you kind of sparked the uh, the team in the first half when, when you're struggling offensively. Um, has it been a goal of yours to contribute more on the offensive end this season? Uh, yeah, just, just playing free, uh, just playing with confidence. Um, I think me shooting the ball will be big for us this year and also helping out on the defensive end. Dante, two, two years ago this team struggled in the, the non-conference schedule, did great in the in the conference schedule. Then last year it was reversed. Is there any thought, man, if we could ever put those two together, this could be really special around here? Or do you talk about that? Uh, I don't think we really talk about it, but I think in my head and in Gabe's head, we really think about that a lot because like you said, two years ago, we did bad out of conference and did great in ACC. Last year, we did great out of conference and not that good in ACC. So I think just really learning from those experiences and like learning the lessons that we learned and try to put those together and really just let the team know that each game counts so much more, and especially these early games are huge for our team. Don't yeah, I think. Don't they talk about those early games? You guys get two games in three days before you go to, to play a tournament. Is that, is that good for this team to get off that kind of start? Yeah, I think it's good for this team, especially since we got a lot of new guys and a lot of young guys. But I think we'll be ready for it because every day in practice we go hard against each other. And, and I think the exhibition helped a lot. It's going to help a lot with it too because we played Thursday. Then we had a physical game Saturday. So we had two close games right beside each other. So I think it's going to be good for our team. Either of y'all can answer this or, or both, but um, you're kind of the elder statesman on this team with a lot of new players and losing Jerron. Have, have you taken it upon yourselves to, to be more of a, a take, on, take on a leadership role on this team? Uh, yeah, just talking more in the locker room, uh, in huddles, things like that. Uh, especially, I think it's good we have a lot of new younger guys that uh, look up to you and want somebody to, uh, to lead because they're eager to learn. So uh, in practice, just doing whatever I can to help, help a lot of the younger guys out. Yeah, I think it's been a big help to him. I think also that we're such experienced players and we've been we've played everywhere and we've been in every type of situation that it's gonna really help our team out and we can really it's our turn to step up basically. So we we're stepping up to that plate and just being that voice that we need in our team. Good. Cool. Perfect. Uh, Bruce